Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am reviewing the Summer Fridays Dream Oasis Deep Hydration Serum which looks like this. If you are new here, my name is Nadia and I'm a licensed esthetician who loves to test and review skincare products. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and be sure to hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever there is a brand new upload. Summer Fridays describes this as a weightless, non-comedogenic jelly serum that hydrates and soothes oily, blemish prone, or sensitive skin. You can find this at sephora.com and summerfridays.com. The serum retails for $44 and you do receive one ounce. I picked this up during the Sephora sale and I will link my video to my Sephora sale haul up above in case you missed it. Directions for use you want to use this over clean damp skin and you may follow it with another serum or your favorite moisturizer. The ingredients list here is quite lengthy, but some of the ingredients that stand out to me are the oatmeal, aloe, chamomile, hyaluronic acid, squalane, and niacinamide, especially after a tragic facial. That is what made me add this to cart. This jelly-like serum is loaded with antioxidants, anti-aging, hydrating, and soothing ingredients. We also see one peptide here. Squalane is an antioxidant that helps prevent moisture loss and strengthen the skin's barrier. Squalane is lightweight and has a non-greasy feel over the skin. Colloidal oatmeal, an ingredient that drove me to add this to cart in addition to its lovely texture, is also an antioxidant that soothes the skin. Sodium hyaluronate, the salt form of hyaluronic acid, is an excellent hydrator that is absorbed by the skin much easier than hyaluronic acid itself. Within this formula, we also see niacinamide, an anti-aging, pore-minimizing, soothing antioxidant. Niacinamide is an excellent hydrator, and it also helps to strengthen the skin's barrier. It also helps to neutralize environmental damage. I began using Dream Oasis on April 3rd, after my barrier became impaired from a facial. I've gotten the same facial before from a different Estee, and my skin is done beautifully. It looked firmer, plumper, brighter, more luminous. But this time around, uh, I feel like the protocol just wasn't followed. Thus, my skin was left feeling like the Sahara Desert the following day. On April 3rd, my skin felt super parched, still very, very textured. And this helped to soothe my skin. I did not experience any pilling with three drops of um, the Summer Fridays oil. I did note that this felt unlike any other hydrating serum that I've used. Uh, when first applied over the skin, this jelly consistency here um, doesn't dry out so quickly, so you do actually have the ability to feel the quench. On April 4th, I noted that I did the same routine um, for a morning walk with drunk elephant sunscreen, tinted sunscreen, and nothing pilled. Uh, my skin didn't feel sticky or too heavy as the temperature was definitely on the cooler side. And my skin, again, that morning woke up um, with less texture throughout and it did feel a bit less dry um, on April 5th, I noted that my skin felt calmer that day, a lot less dry, and some texture, especially here along the forehead, was lingering. On uh, the night of April 6th, I was feeling a little bit adventurous, so uh, this worked well over the uh, New Face Peptide Booster, which is strengthening and a little bit more emollient. The next day, my skin woke up looking radiant. It felt balanced and about 
98% back to normal. On April 13th, I noted that although my skin had already gone back to normal, I still kept incorporating a hydrating routine into my weekly skincare routine schedule. I definitely love the feel of this serum and the oil on my skin overnight. I have also been using this as a moisturizer during the day over the Glow Recipe Niacinamide serum and I have been enjoying the results. My skin has felt balanced and comfortable all day. Today I am wearing the niacinamide drops and I do have this over top so if you are kind of wondering what I have on the skin today that is it. I have used a number of hydrating serums before but none at least that I can remember have paired oatmeal, aloe, and chamomile with hyaluronic acid or the salt form of hyaluronic acid and squalane all in one. At this point in my life or where I was uh, with an impaired barrier I needed all of those things, all of those skin soothers to you know soothe and repair my skin. And I love that this formula worked very well with the Heavenly 16 oil. I think that both products worked very well to repair my skin in about a week. I love the jelly consistency of this and feel of this serum over my skin as it does feel soothing and quenching once I apply it to the skin. Since I've added this serum to my collection in California, we've had a sneak peek of summer, winter-like windy conditions, and sometimes we do get a little bit of spring. And I'd say that I can actually wear this product uh, year round. From having used this for about a month now, I do have to say that my skin has become more balanced. The texture that I had all over from, you know, just being dry and just completely stripped, that is now gone and my skin is now hydrated and soothed. The serum worked nicely um, over my new face boosters, the Glow Recipe Niacinamide Serum, and also on its own. When my skin was dull, textured, and dry, I would perform the same routine I did at night during the day, minus the Drunk Elephant Wonder Wild Miracle Butter. Dream Oasis also performed very nicely under different sunscreens whether they be mineral or chemical. This worked well with oils, uh, specifically the Heavenly 16 All-in-One Facial Oil. And my favorite way to use this is, of course, at night. I would uh, remove makeup with Clearly Clean, as that is essential oil-free. Cleanse with the Best Jelly Cleanser by Drunk Elephant. Use the La Roche-Posay uh, kind of water mist. And use one and a half pumps of this uh, Dream Oasis, followed by the Ula Enriksen Peptide Moisturizer or the pharmacy niacinamide mask for more of a glow followed by the heavenly 16 oil and then I would go in with wonder wild to seal everything in and that was you know when I was feeling the driest most texture throughout that was my routine. I did film, again, a variation of this, so I think I will link that up above in case I haven't already. I would recommend this serum to anyone dealing with dry, parched skin. Perhaps if you are now in a similar situation than I was um, dealing perhaps with an impaired barrier, consider adding this to your routine alongside an oil. My pros here are that this helped to hydrate, soothe, and balance and also repair my skin in about a week. This did not congest my skin or cause it to break out. The serum worked well under and over different serums and it paired very nicely under different moisturizers, oils, and sunscreens. It did not affect at all the performance of my makeup and I really do love the packaging here. I feel like it feels really good on the hand and there is some weight to the actual unit.
My cons here are that this does contain one poor ingredient and one average ingredient, both of which can cause damage to the skin if applied topically in extremely high amount. So I don't really think that's the case here. I am rating Dream Oasis a 9 out of 10. I know that those average and poor ingredients are not going to affect uh, your skin, but I am deducting a point for both. I love, love, love this gem by Summer Fridays, and I will still continue to use it. I do just love the consistency of this. I will show you all once again. Um, it just feels really nice on the skin and it's not like a watery serum where you're kind of left wondering if it's really doing what it's supposed to do. It just, it just, it's just a wonderful, wonderful product by Summer Fridays that I think a lot of you will enjoy. Let me know if you have used Dream Oasis by Summer Fridays in the comments down below. would love to know what your experience has been, especially if you've dealt with an impaired barrier. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Consider giving it a like or subscribing to my channel if you enjoyed today's video. And thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I will see you all in my next video. Bye. So I... Sorry if you can hear Toby. He is just having a bit of a nightmare. He's dreaming. He's chasing something. He is just so adorably cute.